All right, welcome back. It's Back to the Basics. I'm Sean Barr, and today we are talking about reverse telnet. Not forward, but reverse. Let's go. All right, welcome back. We are talking about reverse telnet. So what is reverse telnet? Essentially, it's where a telnet service or server produces or reproduces those commands instead of to, to, the, to the unit itself, it sends those out a serial port. Um, and so why would you use reverse telnet? Well, if you had a console server or you wanted to use a single router to, do so, to connect you into another device's console port, you would use reverse telnet. And essentially you're connecting to the same device. Uh, so basically I'm connecting from and I'm connecting to the same device, but I'm looping that back through my serial port uh, or an aux port. Or if I had multiple asynchronous ports, maybe in a router, for example, um, I can plug the, a module in that would give me multiple asynchronous ports and I could use that as a console server, connecting to multiple devices, maybe in a data center or maybe in a remote office, giving you that physical presence of the device. So you could watch a device boot, those types of things through uh, a console server. And Reverse Telnet is a facility that supports a console server or a router to be able to provide that functionality. So if I wanted to set up a Reverse Telnet, I need to understand what line uh, that aux port is connected to. So I can do a, a command called show line, and it's going to show me all the lines in the router. And then I could set up a host name associated to that port with a loopback IP address or an IP address of the machine locally there, or the router uh, rather, and I could tell that to that, that local IP, that local port, it's gonna reverse connect me right back out to a physical port instead of actually being connected to the device itself. So that is reverse telnet. Why would you ever use this? We talked a little bit about console server, but let's say, for example, maybe you're turning up a switch or you're turning up some other piece of a network equipment but you have access to the router, you don't have a physical presence and you need somebody to get your console access, instead of asking somebody to do it, maybe you could just say, hey, connect the console cable from this port, the aux port, to the console port of this other device. I could telnet into my router, or hopefully SSH into my router, and then I could reverse telnet to that aux port and get physical console access to that device and I can begin configuring. So it's a great tool if you don't have local device, local access to a device, or maybe you just wanna provide some additional console connectivity from a device that's out there in the field. So that's it, that's Reverse Telnet, that's what it is and why you'd use it. If I said anything in this video that you said, hey, I'd love to know more about this, make sure you leave a comment, like, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next Back to the Basics. Thanks for watching.